Today, I'm going to show you how to use a mask. No, not one of those masks. Hi everybody, I'm Lana and welcome to my studio. Today, we're going to talk about masking fluid and how to use it. Why do you even want to use masking fluid in watercolor? Well, most importantly, the white of the paper is the white of your painting. There's no white watercolor. Well, technically there is white, but the watercolor police says you are not allowed to use it. So what you want to do is you want to save the white of your paper. And the best way to do that is to put a masking fluid over it. In addition to saving the whites, you might also want to create a dam around a large area if you're going to be doing a wash and you don't want it to accidentally run into your painted area. And you might also want to save a previous value or a hue of your painting as you paint over your next layer, like what you would do in pouring paint. Masking is very simple. You only need a few things to do it. It's easy to remove and it's easy to clean up. I'm going to show you all of the steps next. So guys, I'd like to know, have you ever tried masking fluid? Have you had good success? Have you had any problems? If you haven't tried it before, are you going to try it? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Well, first and foremost, you're going to need some masking fluid. Duh. I have been using Paul Jackson's masking fluid um, for the past few months and I'm really liking it. It's a little bit more liquid than your normal masking fluid, but I've also used Jack Richens. Uh, masking fluid in the past and I like it. Now one thing you should know is never shake your masking fluid or you get a big nasty clump of masking fluid that looks like this. That's just really gross. If you need to mix it, just use a paintbrush handle and stir it. If you need to thin out your masking fluid, you can just add just a little bit of ammonia to it and stir it up. Don't shake it, just stir it up and that'll thin it out a little bit so it's easier to work with. Thank you, thank you so much! <laughs> to mask successfully, you're going to need a few other things like a small bar of soap, a small paintbrush, and this can be a cheap paintbrush or an old paintbrush, a regular roll of masking tape, some paper towels, and I prefer Viva paper towels, and some watercolor paper. Start by wetting your brush and rubbing the bristles into the bar of soap. This is going to protect the bristles from the masking fluid and will keep it from getting gummed up later. Put a little bit of your masking fluid out into a container so you're not dipping directly into the bottle and then start by saving your white highlights with your brush. You can also use masking fluid, which is also sometimes called frisket, to create a dam around an image when you want to save the edge from paint that you're going to be painting around it. I'm going to be painting dark red all the way around it and I want there to be a nice sharp edge between the black and white car and the red of the license plates. You can use regular masking tape also as a masking. You just lay it out where you want it to be and then I would suggest going back along the edges with some regular masking fluid to seal it in. You can mask over areas that you have painted already and you want to save that color from your next layer of paint. This is commonly used in watercolor pouring, which we'll do later on down the road. After a couple minutes, you'll want to clean out your brushes in just some clear water. Do not use your paint water as you'll get some of that latex into your paint water and then it will get into your painting and leave spots in your paint. I learned this little trick of pouring a little bit of water out on the table and then cleaning your brush on that and then cleaning up the water. There are several tools that you can use to remove your masking fluid. That includes some regular masking tape, an eraser, or a frisket removal tool, or you can just use your finger. My favorite way to remove masking fluid is just to pull off a little bit of masking tape and use the sticky side to pull off the dry masking fluid. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when our next video is going to be out. 